smile for you. Maybe hundreds of thousands of people are expected in historical Louisville this weekend. The St. James Court Art Show officially back in person. Rose McBride is out there this morning giving us a sneak peek with the vendors and what to expect. Hey, Rick. Yeah, we are live with some of the artists this morning talking about their works that are going to be on display here at the St. James Court Art Show. And this morning we have Emily Weber, who is the designer behind Luna Dendron. And what she is wearing is actually her artwork. So tell us about what you're wearing and how you make it, because it's pretty incredible. Yes, yeah, so this is a kimono jacket that I made. I actually weave all of my own fabric on floor looms using sustainable materials. Uh, this is made out of organic cotton, hemp, and tencel. I also made my cow, which um, is the same materials with a little bit of alpaca silk, and my favorite thing to make, which is scrunchies. The scrunchies, yes. we love to see it. And this is your first time here at St. James? It is, yes. I'm so excited to be here. I'll be on 4th Street, booth 605. Booth 605. Yes. And what other kind of items do you have? So you have the kimono, the, the scarf, and the, the scrunchie. Yeah, so I also have some um, ponchos and tops, as well as longer, more traditional scarves, some headbands, and a few wall hangings to choose from. Oh, perfect. And yeah. your designs are so intricate oh, and thank so you. beautiful. Uh, does it take a long time to make these? It does. So it takes at least six hours to set up the loom, oh, and then it wow. takes about an hour to weave a yard, depending on how complicated the pattern is and how many colors I use. Wow. And you said you've, you've had your business for about four years now? Yes, that's right. This is your first big show. Yes. So hopefully, uh, again, you're at uh, 4th Street. Which booth? Booth 605. Booth 605. So if you want to come get some new fall fashion, you can head to Emily's booth. We'll be back a little bit later in the show with another artist featured here at St. James Court Art Show. For Wake Up, I'm Rose McBride. Off the biggest weekend for crowds in Louisville behind the Kentucky Derby, of course, artists and patrons will be at the St. James Court Art Show today for its 65th show. Very cool. Rose is out there right now in Old Historic Louisville this morning getting a sneak peek uh, as we're back in person for the first time in over a year, Rose. Yeah, Brooke, we convinced some of the artists to wake up early with us to give us a sneak peek of what you'll be able to see later today. And so we have Dan Barnes here. He is a glass worker, got some beautiful, beautiful pieces here. And you were saying, Dan, that you kind of picked up a new way of glass working during the pandemic. Well, rather than sitting at home twiddling my thumbs, I decided to get off my thumbs and create some new work. So I developed a whole new line of work, um, totally different from the other work that I do. I still make the other work and bring it with me, but this is new work, uh, which is very involved and takes a lot of time ah. to develop. But uh, So what makes this new and different from what you normally do? Well, it's, it's much more vibrant, uh -huh. bright colors. I was trying to lift my own spirits during COVID. So yes. creating, uh, in fact, I refer to it as my COVID relief work. Okay, okay. <laughs> so it got me through COVID. And you were mentioning um, that each one of these little petals yes, each takes one of these days to make. Yeah, it t each piece of glass takes two full days of firing time. Before, before you fire it, I have to cut it, mm -hmm. grind it, and then you fire it the first time to round the edges. And the second day, I slump it into the shape. And then, uh, then I can assemble it into the, the piece you see here today. And these are just beautiful. And where can people find you today when they I'm, come to the I'm on 3rd Street, Third booth, Street, booth 845. Booth 845. So that's where you can find Dan and his beautiful glassworks later today mm -hmm. and all throughout the weekend. So we're going to be back with some more artists in the next hour. We will see you then. For Wake Up, I'm Rose McBride. And for crowds in Louisville behind the Kentucky Derby, artists and patrons will be back at the St. James Court Art Show today for its 65th year. Rose is out in Old Louisville this morning and people are already excited to be back in person, Rose. Yeah, about two hours. Everything's going to kick off here at 10 a.m. and all the booths will be open with all the artists showing off their work. And this morning we have Arlena Marie here with us. And Arlena, this is just incredible if you look at it from a distance it looks like you know all one painting but then you go close up and it's many different little paintings together so tell yes. us about your technique um, what I'm doing here this is segmentive painting I start off with my simplest forms these are just individual strips of archival paper mm -hmm. I paint them one at a time gluing them down to a backing sheet as I go where they're assembled as separate for where they're actually painted Okay. But then to take it to the extreme now, I'm also doing paintings that 
the whole entire thing is in parts. From the leaves and the plant to the flower pot, everything is all separate Each pieces. Each little leaf. Yes, every leaf is a separate piece of paper. The door, the awning, the little log. And then still we have our strips down there at the bottom and in the steps. <laughs> so how did you kind of start doing this type of painting? Well, I've been painting on canvas for years uh -huh. when one day I walked into my boyfriend's print shop and he had just finished a job. He blade came down, clipped off the excess, leaving behind these strips. And I thought, oh, what could I do with those? Yeah. And that's what started this And that's this how this thing. was born. Yep. Now, where can people find you today? I am in booth seven, or 713. 713. Yes, on um, the 1300 Association okay. section. There's a good, several different sections, but. Yeah, there's a lot, but that's where is. they can find you, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for thank being you. with us this morning. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to come out to the show, it is going on all weekend. But if you want to get here early and enjoy the nice day, we're going to have. It's 10 until 6 o'clock tonight.